So I'm gonna make a judgment call and say that every single plastic bushing is still good in this thing. I believe ball bearings are for competition and endurance. I've ran this through 10 batteries, but not long enough in one session to really cause any damage to the bushings. Let's check it out. We were able to get 34 miles an hour on 2S and 45 miles an hour on 3S using this system. I've actually purchased another one, it's on the way. The grasshopper is gonna go into semi-retirement right now. It still could make it as a display model, but we're gonna take all the electronics out. They're gonna go on the TTL one next. Closer look at the 120 amp ESC, little cooling fan. I highly, highly recommend this for the value. So the transmitter and receiver for a win, really good range over 100 meters for sure. Totally loving it. The servo stays in there. I think that's a 12, is it kilogram? I'm not, I forgot, I don't know. So the pinion gear is still perfect. So the reason I'm retiring the grasshopper is because once you break it there and there, whenever you knock the back axle out, it starts to do it easier and easier. And like this, we can still play with it at 25, 30 miles an hour. But if you do 45, it wants to rip the axle out now. So not cool. So all this held up, no screws came loose. Yeah, I'm taking this thing all the way apart, washing every part. So you can see that there is grease on those plastic bushings. There is absolutely no left to right movement on either one. So these bushings are 100% perfect. Oh, that screw is loose. So the axle is broke where that screw goes in. You see it just broke it off. That's not good. So we can epoxy that back in, not that big of a deal. So that's where the metal pinion was riding against. No damage at all. Everything looks perfect. So absolutely no play whatsoever on the plastic bushings and the brass one is good too passes the test so all the plastic on plastic gears absolutely no damage perfect condition see if this is loose all right all this feels 100 percent perfect so you can see grease on this axle it was never ever run dry and these bushings are 100 percent perfect no damage at all, no warping, nothing. Perfect, 100%. You can see where the bushings were riding. Let's get the bushing popped out. All right, let's see if there's any play. So plastic bushings, 100% perfect. So other side. So other side, same thing. So there's still plenty of grease on that axle. These parts never ran dry and both bushings, perfect. So all the plastic bushings on the back axle are perfectly fine. So we got front wheel bushings and we have spindle bushings. The bushings on the front definitely need to be taken off and cleaned more often than the back. Okay, as you can see, we still have a bunch of grease in there. These were never run dry. They do have a bunch of dirt. Well, I'm glad I'm cleaning these up. So the bushings on there, absolutely no play in the bushings. They are perfect. So that's just a factory play, completely normal. Notice we were doing straight lines with this. So top and bottom of the spindle looking perfect. I did grease everything on this grasshopper. You can still see grease on it. Last bushing, everything is 100% perfect. Nothing is wore out on the grasshopper. Plastic factory bushings work 100%. Plastic bushings for a win. I've been through about 10 batteries. We did most of our speed runs at 35 miles an hour, got it up to 45, ran two batteries. And the only damage that we have is from actually wrecking it. And this is definitely a weak point and the uh, grasshopper buggy. You could JB weld a big blob in there to reinforce that, but I think you're better off just super gluing it because if it would not have busted that rear axle out, it would have probably broke it or bent the axles worse than they were. I did have to straighten them twice. Uh, I forgot about this spindle. Yeah, everything's looking real good on there. And that's because I greased every single thing on this. I will have a video of building the chassis. I forgot to upload it. I thought I already had it up, but I didn't. 
Grasshopper's been tons of fun. I'm going to completely wash this thing and re-grease it, rebuild it, and save it for later in the future. For right now, it's getting retired. We have another buggy coming up after this one. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.